Hello everyone, so in this particular video we are going to discuss about new AWS service that is a AWS IAM. The full form is identity and access management. So by the name itself you will get to know like access management means all the access related management we do with the help of the AWS IAM. So let's take an example and let us try to understand about this. Let's take an example of a new user. Suppose new user joined any organization. So what actually the first thing they do is like he will try to request the access for the services he will try to request access for the services so suppose he wants to use a tableau then he will raise a request for the tableau if he is using a databricks then he will raise a request for the this databricks okay so this is all the steps generally we follow in aws space also generally this is a aws account suppose this is a aws account who actually maintain generally this is maintained by the devops engineer a devops engineer okay suppose this particular user he need access for the s3 and the he need access for the ec2 instance okay so what actually he will do he will try to raise first request to this devops engineer like he need access for the aws account first thing what actually he will do he will raise a request for the aws account and in aws account he need access for the ec2 and he need access for the s3 bucket okay so this is the thing actually he will try to do then what this devops engineer will do with the help of the im he will they will try to provide access to this particular user so this is how im generally we use to manage the access to the user and manage the access for the services okay? i hope you got a high level idea and what is the good practice instead of providing the full access to this particular user we only provide what actually they need okay suppose in organization you have a db you have a multiple ec2 instances running you have a multiple s3 bucket is running so if he doesn't require any db access so instead of providing him the whole access what actually we do we only provide whatever the access he require if we'll provide a full access and suppose knowingly and unknowingly he deleted this db then whole organization will go into the toss okay so to avoid this all the kind of the thing we provide only that access which actually required if he required only the read access for the s3 we will only provide the s3 read access so that is how actually it manage in the organization and to manage this all the things we use im services aws im we have to understand this four thing one is the user second is the policy third is the group and the fourth is the roles let us try to understand one by one the user means if you are a user who are joining an organization you will raise a request to the devops engineer like you need access for the aws account so what actually they will do they will try to create a user and they will assign you one a link so that you will you will be able to access that you will be able to authenticate that so authentication and creating a new user we do with the help of the user creation so this will do a practical and we'll try to understand the second is the policy policy is nothing but a if you user you require only the s3 bucket access so for policy required for the s3 bucket we will try to attach with the help of the policies the third one is a group suppose uh, we have a big organization and all the time new user is joining and they are requesting access so what devops engineer generally does is like they try to create a multiple groups they will try to create one group for the developer they will try to create one group for the qa they will try to create one group for the data engineer like that multiple group they try to create and whatever the policy generally whatever the developer uh, require a policy so they will try to attach into that particular group itself and they will try to add a user into there okay so suppose new user 501 is joining so if he is the developer they will add into the developer and this developer will already be having access for the s3 bucket and the rds account and also automatically this five user one will get access to s3 and the rds so that is how actually they try to handle so that means the group group role i am role is nothing but a, if suppose two is two services like one s3 service is there they want to talk with the lambda services they want to access the lambda services in that case we use the im role this actually we try to discuss more in depth in upcoming lecture but that is the overall idea so i hope you got overall idea let's try to do a practical about the user policy and the groups and let's discuss that i have opened my aws account in this search bar what actually we have to search we have to search the im once you will search the im you can see manage access to the aws services we'll click here 
in left side you can see we have a user group we have a user we have a rows and we have a policy and what actually we are going to do we are going to create a new user suppose you are you have joined one new organization so what actually i will do i will try to create a uh, one user for you so what actually i will do first i will try to click on this user click on the create user suppose your name is a manish so i'll try to create a username manish aws manage console this is the access i will provide custom password so i will give you one custom password through which actually you will be able to log in user must create a new pass password at sign in so the, if i will uncheck this if you will click this user has to recreate a passwords okay so that actually facility you can provide but as of now i am unchecking so with the username money send the password he will be able to join click on the next any kind of the policy this actually we will uh, discuss later but as of now we are only creating a user click on the next click on the create user now you can see one username got created and we have a password if you want to send through a email you can send them like uh, if you want to give them a this particular url if you want to give them a password if you want to give a username by a email actually you can send them this is the user we will try to do a sign in okay so this is a new user we have created once you will use that particular url you can see it is asking a username and the password so we will provide our username and the password now as of now so i got access to the aws account i am able to log in also but now if you will see we haven't given any access to any services so if i will open, show you i am click on the i am now here also you can see access denied is coming we have created a user and we have we haven't provided any uh, access to any services okay so how actually we do we do with the help of the policy the first thing is like to create a user so this user actually we have discussed so we have created a user and with this particular user account he is able to log in okay now second thing is the policy we'll go to our previous account now what i will do i will go to the i am user I will go to the user and I'll click on this manis okay so we haven't provided any access to the use user so that's why he's not able to access anything now what actually we are going to discuss we are going to discuss about the policy so here you can see policy name and the permission policy so click on the add permission add permission and we can provide a policy so we have option like attach policy directly so click on this attach policy now we want to give access to the im so if i will give you im full access so he will be able to see a im if you want to give only the read only access you can give that also as of now i am providing the im full access and also i i will provide a so i am full access i have provided i will also provide a s3 so he will be able to create a s3 so let me give s3 s3 full access is there okay this particular access also i will try to provide and the add permission okay so these are the access we have provided so with this particular way he will be able to log in now let's try to log in so i will go to the security credential this is the particular login you have right so i will just open in a new window let me try to log in let me sign in so previously i was not able to access the im also okay now let me try to see so i'll click on this im this is my new account with the monies so you can see he's able to see that if i will go to the s3 and let me try to create a bucket because we have provided the s3 pool access i am full access so with this he should be able to create a bucket so let me create a bucket i am 
I am test bucket something this is a bucket actually we are creating random bucket I just click on the create bucket because I have a s3 full access also I am able to create a bucket so like this user and the policy work user means provide a user so that he will be able to log in in AWS account policy means he should be able to access the particular service so for that we will provide them access now third is the group let's discuss about the group let me switch to the previous account I will open IAM so we have seen about the user and the policy also so whatever the policy you can see right that actually you can attach to the particular user now let's see about the user group now in this case what actually we will do we will create one group let's give the group name as a data analyst data analyst okay so this is the group I am creating and in this group what actually I will be assigning I will be assigning a EC2 Amazon EC2 full access this is the policy actually I am assigning and I will just create a group okay I will just click on the create group so this particular group only having access for the EC2 okay means he will be able to see the EC2 now if I'll click on this data analyst okay if you want to add any user here you can add that if I'll click on this add user it suppose if you want to add this money is here okay if I'll click on the add user so this money is got added to this particular user and he will be only he he should have a access for the EC2 also so if I'll go to the monies now you can see he automatically having access for the EC2 also because these two already we provided S3 full access and IAM full access because we added into the one data analyst group so he should also have access for the EC2 also so like this actually we try, we try to create a group and we try to add a user so that automatically they will be having access for that okay now if you want to see that you, you can log in and you can see he will be having access for that let me show you let me log in now if I will uh, select the EC2 I will click here you can see he is able to see this ok if I will go to the RDS if I will try to create a database it will throw me error because I don't have access for that we have provided only the S3 access and the IM access and the EC2 access so like that actually we try to create a user we try to create a group and we try to create a policy I hope you got it yeah that's it in this video in the next video we will try to discuss about the IM role also